Oh, I'll put it. Let's share it on your page too, so they. You said Isaiah forty-one. Uh huh. Okay, so we're ready. Let me get this ready. <laughs> get all these gadgets. <laughs> so I had to go live everywhere. Okay. Okay, so praise the Lord, everybody. Truly, we give honor and thanks to the Lord for being here on the night watch. We are here on our post for prayer. We thank God for the opportunity. I just want to share a word, and then we'll come and chit chat about that for a minute. And then we're going to be praying for uh, several items today. We're going to be praying for fatherless children. We're going to be praying for adults that have had no fathers in their lives. We're going to be praying for that. We're going to be praying uh, for unity in this nation. And we're going to be praying for our economy. I added that in there. I want to be praying for stability in finances and the people for people. And we also, of course, always want to pray uh, for comfort and peace for those who have lost loved ones and pray healing for those that are in the hospital. Those are const constant on our list. And then we want to pray for uh, confusion and disturbance in the workplace. I want to make sure we cover that in prayer. And, and then, of course, unity in this nation and amongst our leadership in the church and in the nation. So those are things that we are praying for. But I wanted, I wanted to read Isaiah 41 and 10, and, and I'm going to read it to the 20th verse, because in that in this particular passage of scripture, one thing that the Lord is doing here, he has given us some a prophecy, he has given us some commands, and he is giving us some promises. And so I think that, you know, when once one I was talking, when I was talking to the Lord on my own, he told me, take everything back to the word of God. Because in the word of God, there lies our direction. It lies our instructions. And so we can get the instructions we need from the Lord. The Bible tells us that the word of the Lord is a light into our pathway, is a, yeah, is a light into our path. I mean, it is a... Um, Lord, well, I can't think of that now. And I know I know that scripture, but anyway, the, the, that it is our, it's a light into our pathway. So it will give us the I'm direction. Uh, a lamp, thank you. A lamp into our feet and a light into our pathway. I said, now I'm going to that all day. And then here, I'm going to get up here and forget it. A lamp into our feet and a light into our pathway. So he gives us that. And if we want miracles to happen in our life, they, he, they are on the wings of instructions. So we have to be able to follow what the word of God says and the instructions that God give us to get to the place that God wants us to go. His promises are yea and amen. He hastens to perform his word. So when you are releasing the word of God, through prayer, when you're releasing the word of God over your life, the Lord hastens to perform that. He ain't sitting up here dangling, oh, I'm going to give it to you. No, I ain't going to give it to you. Oh, I'm going to give it to you. He ain't, that's not him. That's not what he's doing. He is going to perform his word. He said his word. 
his word will not return unto him void, but it will accomplish what it is sent out to do. And so we got to be able to hold on to that and, and hold on to it for dear life because it is the word of God. It is his promises to you and to your, to your children and to your children's children, to your household, to your family, if this is what you want. And so since that, so let me read it. So this, and it says, this is uh, Isaiah 41. And of course I'm in the King James Version. But it says, fear not, that is a command. <laughs> he said, for I am with thee. That's a promise. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. That's a promise. He said, I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. This is what God is saying. Behold, all they that are incensed against thee, now look what it says, all of them that are against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Oh, he's telling us something today. These are, these are promises what God is saying. And he says, thou shalt seek them and shall not find them. Even them that contended with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. And this is what the Bible said. This is what God, this is his word. And here we go. Here go a command in another, a command in another promise. It says, for I, the Lord, thy God will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, fear not. I will help thee. This is a promise. That's a promise. And so he said, then he go another one. It's a promise and it is a command. It says, fear not. So he's giving us a command right there. He's telling us to fear not. Thou worm Jacob and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth, thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small. Now he said, thy shall, this is what he's saying, beat the mountains and beat them small and shalt make the hills a chaff. Thou shalt fan them and the wind shall carry them away. And the whirlwind shall scatter them, and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, and thou and shalt glory in the Holy One of Israel. When the poor and needy seek water, and there is none, and their tongue faileth for thirst. This is what he's saying. Here go a promise. I, the Lord, will hear them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. Hallelujah. He says he's not going, he will hear us and he will not forsake us. Then here go another promise. He said, I will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water. Now he's talking about nourishing you in dry places. He's talking about uh, 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 nourishing us in the wilderness where there's nothing around, but God is going to take care of you in that wilderness place. He's going to nourish you in that dry place. Come on. And here go another promise. He said, I will plant in the wilderness the cedar, the shittah tree, and the myrtle, and the oil tree. And I will set in the desert the fir tree and the pine and the box tree together. Then he said that they may see. This is he's gonna do it in the presence of your enemies. I'm telling you. He said that they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord has done this. And the Holy One of Israel hath created it. I'm telling you, that blessed me today. I was excited about it because I looked at all the promises and the commands. Come on, y'all. 
Yes. 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 All of those promises and commands that the Lord has for us. We don't have to worry about the enemies coming up against us. He said he going to scatter them. <laughs> they going to be, he going to scatter them. And you don't have to worry about it. So I want somebody to be encouraged this tonight to understand that those things that are trying to fight against you, God has already got it taken care of. You don't have to be uh, worried about how it's going to happen or when it's going to happen. You just got to understand it's happening now. It's happening now. God is doing a great thing. And so just like we're here today in Psalm 68 and one, it says, let God arise and his enemies be scattered. So that's why we on this night watch, because that's the hour where he's, he, he's when the enemy is coming in, Bible tells when the enemy come in like a flood, it says the spirit of God will lift up a standard against it. So the Lord is fighting for us. And I said, this is a time when the angels are ascending and descending. And I said, they're taking the prayers up and they're bringing down answers. And I'm telling you, when we release the word of God, they're taking up the prayer and they're bringing down answers. How do you want God to take up your prayer and bring down an answer? So we're going to get some answers. We're going to get some relief. We're going to get some protection. We're going to get some of the things that God has promised us. It is our season to see the manifestations of the promises of God come to pass. It's our yeah. season. Right. You got to believe it's your season. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what you've been waiting on for 20 years. I don't care. It is your season to receive the manifestation of the promises of God. He is working things out in his will. You heard him when he said that. He said, he said he'll rise up. He said he'll put a pool in the high places, rivers in the high places, Fountains in the midst of the valley. And then he said, I will. Uh, he said, I will make a wilderness in the wilderness a pool of water. And then he said, and the dry lands springs of water. So what he's saying in times of those dry places in your life, those places where you don't you feel like I just don't even know what to do. I don't know how this is going to work out. I don't know what's going to happen. He said he's bringing water in those dry places. So he is, it, it ain't no mirage. You know how like they be in the desert and they've been in there and the heat is hitting on them and they think they see some water. No, God is going to produce it in that dry place. So we got so much to be excited about. We got so much to be thankful for. We have a God that hears, he sees, he is touched with the feeling of our infirmity. Does anybody have anything they want to say before we begin to pray? If not, we're going to go ahead and get started. And I'll start out, and I'm going to let these beautiful women of God I have on the line with me today, Pastor Rebecca Allen Merriweather from Indianapolis, Indiana, over at the Cathedral Praise uh, Church of God in Christ. She's a pastor there. Go visit her sometimes. She needs, now, she needs some people. Help. We, we're going to talk about that later. But we need some people go over there that got a mind to do ministry, a mind to help. And then I have the uh, elder Rita Timberlake. She's one of my uh, sisters over at the Proudest House. We serve there. And so we are on the line to pray today. And we're going to just pray that the, that the Lord will begin to do some things in this hour for the people of God and begin to tear down the enemies that try to disturb us during this time. I'm telling you, if you hear some of the stuff that I get privileged to hear, you would understand why the Lord gave me this hour for prayer. And so I'm just so thankful for his... Uh, for his direction. So I will start. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We adore you. We praise you, Lord. You are the omnipotent God. You are the omnipresent God. You are the omniscient God. Lord, we thank you that you are the sovereign God. Hallelujah. You are the creator of the universe, God. You created this whole thing, God. Didn't nobody, ain't nobody else up there greater than you. You are the great I am. You are our Jehovah Jireh. You are our Jehovah Nissi. You are our Jehovah Shalom God. You are Jehovah Rapha, the God that heals us. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. That you are our will in the middle of a will. You are Rose of Sharon. You are Lily of the Valley. Hallelujah. You are nail fastened in a sure place. 
God, we thank you, hallelujah, that though we have been tried in the fire, Lord, we are coming forth as pure gold. God, we thank you, hallelujah, for the opportunity to come before you, God. We thank you that our prayers are being answered tonight. Lord, you told us if we ask anything, believing we re shall receive that what we say. So, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that every one of these prayers that are going forth on tonight will be answered. We will see the manifestation of, our, of, of, of the promises of God in this season. God, we glorify you and we magnify your name. Lord, this might be the winter season, oh God, but this is that season, oh God, that, that you begin to, that the blankets of snow and the, and the cold weather begin to nourish that what is supposed to come up in the spring. So God, we glorify you and we magnify your holy name for you are so worthy to be praised. Lord, we give you the honor and the praise because we love you, God. We love you, hallelujah. We give you praise, praise, hallelujah, hallelujah, because you're amazing, hallelujah. Lord, we ask you first to forgive us of sins, of, of commission, those by omission. Lord, we ask you to forgive us of every sin, the sin, the Lord, all those things that were not pleasing to you. Lord, if it was an attitude, if it was a thought, the deed, God, we thank you for forgiving us today, oh God. Lord, we thank you as we you forgive us that we have forgiven others, oh God. Lord, we're wiping the slate clean for other people, oh God, that they will be that we won't have anything holding us back for receiving what you have got promised for us, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Lord, we're speaking, Lord, to families today, oh God. Lord, that they will have a forgiving spirit amongst them, oh God. They will no longer hold each other captive for something that was done decades ago. But Lord, they'll wipe the slate clean, hallelujah. They'll love family members again. They'll love their spouses again. They'll love, oh God, where hate has been there. We root up the, uh, the root of bitterness right now in the name of Jesus. We come against rejection in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I bless your holy name and I praise your name, God. Lord, I want to come, I'm asking you, Lord, Lord, that domestic violence, oh God. Lord, I heard so many stories on last night. Women getting beaten, Lord, bad, almost beaten to unconsciousness. Lord, we coming against that spirit right now in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we come against the spirit of anger, oh God. We ask you, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. And when we pray for the fatherless uh, children, oh God, that's going to heal some of it, oh God. We need it to be healed, Father, in the name of Jesus. So it can stop running rapid, oh God. And people think it's okay, oh God, to, to, to do harm to somebody else. Oh Lord, we come against it. Let God arise that his enemies will be scattered. Hallelujah. And Lord, That's we come against criminal mischief tonight. We come against burglaries, oh God. We come against theft, God, in the name of Jesus. We come against criminal trespassing, oh God. We come against it right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we ask you for peace on tonight. Peace, Lord, in every city, oh God. Lord, in Marion County in Indianapolis, Cook County in Chicago, Dallas County, Tarrant County, Kaufman County, oh God, Ellis County, Lord, Roanoke County, oh God, hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, we ask you, Lord Jesus. Lord, let the households be safe. Let yes. neighborhoods be safe. We're rebuking yes. domestic violence. We rebuke child molestation. Lord, we rebuke, yes. hallelujah, spousal abuse. We're rebuking grandparent abuse. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Name oh, Lord, Jesus. we come against it, Father. And, Lord, we ask you to bless our economy, oh, God. Lord, they're predicting so many things, oh, God. But, Lord, we got faith. And, Lord, we know faith is the currency of heaven. So, Lord, we ask you, Lord, to just increase our faith. Help those that have unbelief, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Lord, we bless you and we praise you. Lord, we ask you for stability in the finances of your people, oh, God. Lord, bring forth stability, God. Lord, we know that you're Elohim. Lord, you're El Shaddai, the God that's more than enough. So, Lord, we're asking you all for stable, stable, stableness. We ask you for supernatural debt cancellation. We ask you to make us good stewards, oh God. We're asking you, Lord, to bless us to be faithful, tired, to cheer, forgive us. And Lord, let us be good sowers, oh God. That when we sow a seed, it will go into good ground. And it will produce a harvest, God, in the yes. name of Jesus. Oh, yes, we bless Lord. You, Lord. Don't let us sow our seeds, hallelujah, into unfruitful ground, oh God. 
Give us wisdom and give us knowledge concerning those things, Father. Give us wisdom how to deal with people every day, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I bless you. Lord, we ask you, Lord Jesus, to bless there to be peace in the workplace, Father. Lord, the enemy's trying to run rapid in every way he can. But I declare, let God arise and let his enemies be scattered, oh God. Oh Lord, we thank you. Lord, we want to pray for every adult that did not have a father in the home. God, we ask you, Lord, to heal the wounds of that God. In the name of Jesus, we heal the wounds of rejection. We heal the wounds of abandonment, God. In the name of Jesus, I tell you, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that we are accepted in the beloved. Hallelujah. Lord, that you love us. Hallelujah. That love, hallelujah, is what you brought to us when you let Jesus die on the cross for our sins. Lord, you said, Lord Jesus, uh, for God so loved the world that you gave your only begotten son, that whomsoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So we thank you for that redeeming love, God. We thank you for that everlasting love, God, in the name of Jesus. Bless these fatherless children, hallelujah. Lord, that they're just angry and they're bitter and they're hurt. Oh, God, from the, from the family unit being broken. God, we ask you to heal the heart. Heal them in their mind and in their emotion, oh, God. Oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we come against every diabolical thought that's going across somebody's mind to go in and do hurt and harm. We rebuke them, Lord, from coming into church trying to do hurt and harm. Oh, Lord, we need you in a mighty way, God. We need you in a mighty way, Lord. Hallelujah, we pray for unity in our nation. God, let people lay aside them party woes and them party things, oh God. We need the unity in government. We need unity in our church. Lord, bless every apostle, every pastor, every prophet, every teacher, every evangelist, oh God. Every leader in the ministry, oh God. Lord, we need unity. We need them to call a solemn assembly, oh God. In the name of Jesus, like you did in the book of Joel. And Lord, you said you would restore the years that the palmer worm and the canker worm and the locusts have eaten up. Lord, they won't be able to ask, where is our God? Because God, you're going to be present in every situation. We thank you for it today, God. Oh, I glorify and I magnify your name, Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah. At that name, every demon, every knee has to bow. So, Lord, we call on your name, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you, Lord. And I praise your name, God, Jesus. Oh, God, bless sons today, Lord Jesus. Lord, that sons, hallelujah, will come to you, oh, God. Lord, you'll be the father that they never had, God. And they'll know it. They'll feel your presence. Hallelujah. They'll feel your love. Oh, we come against it right now. Today. We come against criminal assault. Lord, early I, this week, I had a dream where I saw a woman being assaulted. God, I'm asking you, Lord Jesus, we come against that spirit right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, send help right now in the name of Jesus. Bless our military all over this land and this world, God. Keep them, Lord, keep their minds, oh God. Give them a spirit of discernment, oh God. We rebuke, uh, we rebuke ambushments tonight in the name of Jesus. Bless every uh, uh, patrol, every uh, every law officer, oh God. Lord, bless situations to be de-escalated. No more police shootings, no more shootings for the police, uh, for shooting them either. God, we need peace, oh God, in these counties, oh God, Holly, L.A. County, Lord, in these major cities and all of these cities, oh God. Lord, we need you right now, every sheriff, every deputy, oh God. Oh God, we thank you, Lord. Oh God, I glorify Oh God, somebody is healed, sick in their body. Lord, send forth healing, oh God, into the hospital room. 
Lord, let them, Lord, Lord, let your spirit move, move, oh God. Hallelujah in every room, oh God, touch as only you can, heal as only you can, oh God. Bless those that have lost loved ones, God, that need your comfort, your healing, and your peace right now in the name of Jesus. We rebuke suicide tonight, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, we rebuke every suicidal spirit. Lord, let your angels encamp around about us. We thank you tonight in the name of Jesus. I pass it on in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Okay, give my shot. Go ahead, El Timberlake. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, bless your name, God. Bless your name. Bless your name. Mighty God that you are. Mighty God. Mighty God. Thank you for being God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God, we just come before you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. First, God, we ask you to search of my heart, search my heart, search our hearts, oh God. Oh God, to make sure, God, that everything is lined up, God, so there would be nothing blocking us so you cannot hear us. So God, forgive us for anything that we should have done and didn't and things we did that we shouldn't have. God, we ask God that you would forgive us. And oh God, you made us and you know all about us. You know every secret, secret about us. So we come before you, God, with a humble heart and a humble spirit. We're looking to you, the author, the finisher of our faith. Our yeah. hope is in you tonight, oh God. God, we have nowhere else to go and no one else to, to lean on, God. Oh, God, we lift up the people of God in the name of Jesus. Those in leadership, our pastors, our, our, our ministers, oh, God, the, the, the volunteers in ministry, oh, God, all of those that are representing you, the people of faith. God, we lift them up before you, God. Those that have grown a little weary and a little tired and become disenchanted, God, we ask you, God, to touch and strengthen in the mighty name of Jesus. God, those that have walked away, God, whatever the reason, we ask you to begin to pull on them and pull on their hearts. Woo them, God, back to you, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, open their eyes and their ears so they can hear clearly and so they can see, God, what you are saying unto them, oh God. Give wisdom to the people of God, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Help us not to lean to our own understanding, but in all our ways, let us look to you and acknowledge you and allow you to direct our path. God, we realize, God, that there need to be unity in the church house, God. Oh, God, so God, we want to start with the people of faith first, God, as you pull us together and unite, unite us, not against our will, but under our hearts, oh God, so we can see, God, see how far we have come away from you and, let, and draw us nearer. Let us do what it takes to become nearer to you, oh God. God, we're at the feet of the cross. Hallelujah. And we humble ourselves tonight, oh God. And we stand in the gap, oh God, for those that have grown weak and worn and weary, God. Oh God, help us to stand on this battlefield. Help us to endure hardness as a good soldier, God. Hold up our arms, God. Oh God, as they held up Moses' arms, God, when they fought the battle, God, we just pray that you hold up the leaders, oh God. Oh God, be it spiritual leaders, be it the leaders in, in Congress, be it the leaders in the local uh, government, oh God. We need your help. We need wisdom. We need guidance. The enemy is, is filtrating every place, God. But oh God, he's already defeated. Oh God, we come against every plot, every demon, every imp, every, 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 uh, every demon and, and all of his little uh, adversaries and all those things that will come against the will of God. They want to hinder your uh, progress, God, to hinder your purpose in your people's lives, God. God, we cancel every assignment of the enemy and we send it back to the very pit of hell from which it has come, God. And we release your warring angels to fight for us, oh God, and your ministering angels to minister to the hearts of those 
those who have grown weak and worried, worn and God and feeling discouraged, God, and faith has gotten a little low, God, but I ask you now to increase our faith. Help us to look to the hills from which cometh our help, God. Our help cometh from you, God, and we thank you for your help. We thank you for your strength tonight. God, we ask now, as we've been asked to pray, to intercede on behalf of children. All children, God, those that were raised with, with parents and those that have been raised with without God. God, we ask, God, that you would mend brokenness in the parents, in the children, brokenness, God, in the name of Jesus, the wounded hearts, the wounded spirits. Oh, God, and the enemy is taking advantage, but God, he's already defeated. We're coming against his plot. Oh, God, and we're praying for these children, oh, God, that you would stand in the gap, God, that you would minister to them, oh, God, that you would meet their needs wherever they are, wherever they are, God. You're able to bless them at all ages, oh, God. We come against the spirit of rage and of anger and hostility, God. God, we pray for peace and a spirit of tranquility, God. Oh, God, a calmness of mind, God. In the name of Jesus, God, we come against mental illness. Oh, God, we ask that you would touch minds, God. Oh, God, that you would settle the spirit and let them be able to think clearly. Oh, God, with reasonness of thought, oh, God. In the name of Jesus, oh, God, we pray, God, we pray that you would just have your way, that you would have your way in your people's lives. That, that God, that we would surrender our will totally, totally to you, oh, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh, God, bless, bless those that are on the line today those that will listen later, God. You know what everyone's standing in need. We pray for marriages. We pray for families, God. Marriages that are going through, God. People are thinking about walking away that's been married for many years. And God, they've given up, God, because they've lost hope. But God, our hope is in you. God, help them to look to you, God. Oh, God, you're able to restore. You're able to mend, God. You're able to make whole. God, you're able to bring families back together, oh, God. In the name of Jesus, you're able to have people in their jobs, God, where the enemy want to cause confusion. God, we ask for peace and, then, and we ask that you would expose the enemy, every plot that's planned against your people, oh God. We pray, God, that you would get the glory, whatever trial, whatever tribulation, be it on our job, in our homes, in our everyday lives, in our family, in our finances, whatever we're facing, God. We pray, God, that you give wisdom in that area and that we will hold on, God. Keep our hand to the plow and not give up and look to you for guidance and God that the enemy, God, will be defeated because we decree and declare that he's already defeated, but God, that you would get the glory, that you would get the glory that there be many testimonies that many will be saved. Many, oh God, will come to Christ, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we pray for every pastor, every leader, oh God, that you will continue to give wisdom, oh God, in this season, oh God, in their churches, oh God. Oh God, give them the avenues and strategies, oh God, whatever they stand in need of, God. Be, be, it, uh, be it emotional, God, be it, be it physical, be it spiritual, be it financial, Whatever the need, is, God, the need of your people, your leaders, oh God. They need you. Many are bleeding, God. They need God. They need your help, oh God. Everyone pulls on them, God. But pour back into them, God. Give them back the virtue, God, that they give out so freely, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God, I pray right now, God, that the governors of every state, God, those whose hearts are not in in the right place, those that got their own agenda. God, we come against that spirit of deceitfulness in the name of Jesus. We are rested right now, spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. We ask that you would intercede, interrupt right now, God. Every plot that's come to destroy, they want to turn down nations, turn down countries, turn down cities, oh God, turn down the government, take away people's rights, oh God. The right to vote, God, just got their own agenda. Evil seems to be right, but the devil's a lie, God. You are still all powerful. You're 
still sovereign in everything and everybody. It's subject to you, God. And even the devil is subject to you, God. Yes, and so, God, God we ask you right now about, to about. move mightily, move mightily right now, God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, send your warring angels huh, to fight for us, God. Fight for us, oh, God. Help us to stand. Heaven done all the stand, God. Help us to stand, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, for we help us to pull down these strongholds, casting down every imagination of God. We coming against every high thing, every principality in high places. We pull it down right now. In the name of Jesus. 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 Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on your people, God. Renew us, God. Give us the refilling. Oh, God, of the mighty Holy Ghost, oh, God. Let it just spring forth out of us, oh, God. In the name of Jesus, strengthen your people, oh, God. Order our steps, oh, God. Order our steps, God. And, oh, God, ask you to bless your people. Wherever they put you, God. But, God, let them possess the land, God. Whatever the need is, God. In the name of Jesus, every unspoken spoken requests. Every need right now, God. Meet the needs of your people. Meet the needs of your people. And we come in agreement, oh God, that we are against a, a, a domestic violence. Any kind of anger, any kind of hurt against each brother, our brothers and our sisters. We come against that spirit, oh God. We pray, God, that we, there would be more self-control, that there would be more discipline among people, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we come against that out-of-control spirit, that wow spirit, the spirit of witchcraft, God. In the name of Jesus, we cast it down right now, God. In the name of Jesus, we send it back to the very pit of hell, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, and we release your power, oh, God, your power, oh, God, that can pull down strongholds. Oh, God, we release, God, your anointing to move mightily, oh, God, to fix what needs to be fixed, repair what needs to be repaired, mend what is broken, oh, God. Oh, God, we need you today, God. We need you right now, God. We need you, God. We're in trouble, God. Oh, God, the world is in trouble, God. We've been trying to do things in our own strength, God. But we surrender. We surrender all to you, God. We surrender, oh, God. We surrender. We surrender will to you, oh, God. In the name of Jesus, and we say, have your way, God. Have your way in our lives, God. Use us for your glory. Use us for your service, oh God. In the name of Jesus, bless the men and women of God. Oh God, we pray for those that are the wayward ones that have walked away. We pray for every backslide. We pray for the homeless, God. We pray for those in the hospital, God. We pray for every family that's going through bereavement. Those that have been dealing with COVID, God. Those that got people in hospice, God. God, we need you. We need you. We need you, God. So some people need you, don't know they need you. God, we need you to intervene. Will you put your loving arms around us? Rock us, oh God. Hold us, God. Let us feel your love. Let them feel your presence. Let them know that you'll never leave them nor forsake them, God. That you're always there with them, oh God. You see their needs and you got to help to undergird. We thank you for new strength. We thank you for new mercies today. God, you're a mighty good God. Well, you're mighty good, good God. And God, we are looking to you to move on behalf of our brothers and our sisters. We are saying, God, have your way. Have, have your way, oh God. For you are God and beside thee there is none other. Almighty God. Oh God, we recognize who you are. We thank you, oh God, for being our father. We thank you for making ways out of no way. We thank you, Lord, for being a provider. We thank you for the victories already ours, God. Whatever the trial, whatever we're facing, whatever the heartache, God. God, victory is already ours. It's already ours, God. We pray, God, that our faith don't faint, don't fail us, oh God. God, as you prayed for Peter, God, that his faith wouldn't fail him, God, and we pray now, God, that our faith don't fail us, oh God. Oh God, help us to stand. Help us to stand, God. Help us to be protected, oh God. Help us to put on the whole armor of God. Oh God. Help us, God, so we may be able to fight the good fight of faith. Strengthen us tonight, oh God. Strengthen us 
us tonight, oh God, like never before. Give us peace that surpasses all understanding, God. Give us a calmness in our spirit, oh God. I come against the spirit of frustration, oh God, of, of giving up, God. In the name of Jesus, I come against the spirit of suicide, oh God, the spirit of intimidation, God. We send it back to the pit, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we speak peace in the land. We speak peace in the land. We speak victory in the land. We are overcomers. We are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus, God. We thank you for your love tonight. Oh God, every condition that's going before you and those that will go even further, God, we put it before you right now, God, and we say we trust you and we believe, God, that you hear our prayers. Thank you for hearing us. Thank you for answering us. And oh God, we believe and we decree that it's already done. And everything we've asked, we've asked to believe it in Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you right now, Lord, and we give you the praise. Lord, we honor you and we adore you and we bless your name because it is your name that is that is above every name, God. And we realize and understand that it is at your name that every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Lord, I thank you for these women who have gone before me, Lord Jesus, who have prayed out of their hearts and out of their spirits. And God, I ask you right now, God, to even begin to meet, hallelujah, their requests, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. God, we have so many things, Lord, that we need to bring before you because there are things going on around us that only you can fix, only you can manage, and only you can handle. And God, we ask you right now to begin to work on our behalf, hallelujah, in this very moment. Oh, God, we ask you to take your holy hand, hallelujah, and begin to wave it among your people right now in the name of Jesus and let the fresh oil of the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, hallelujah, sprinkle down upon us, hallelujah, and fill the atmosphere, hallelujah, with your power and with your glory. Oh, God, we have children, hallelujah, who are in the earth right now who have no fathers, Hallelujah, men that dropped seeds, hallelujah, but then didn't stay around to raise the child. And I pray for these children right now in the name of Jesus, children who are hurting, hallelujah, children who are grieving, children who are angry, children who do not know what to do with themselves, Lord Jesus. I ask you, Father, to step in and to be the father that they do not have right now in the name of Jesus. God, do it. Oh, God, I pray right now, God, for those that are sick in their bodies. Lord, those that need healing. We ask you to be a healer right now now in the name of Jesus. God, we come against all form and all manner of disease. God, we ask you to protect your people from the COVID-19 right now in the name of Jesus. God, keep your people healthy, Lord Jesus, so that we can continue to gather into the house of the Lord and give you praise. God, so that we can continue to go forth in you in a strong praise. We ask you to keep us healthy and keep us strong right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Oh God, you know what we have need of, Lord Jesus. Lord, there are so many of us, Lord, that need financial help. And we ask you right now, God, to begin to work in our favor when it comes to our finances right now in the name of Jesus. We have visions that are out in front of us, Lord Jesus that we need to accomplish. Hallelujah, we have debt. Hallelujah, that we need to be canceled. God, we have things that we want to do and we cannot do it, God, unless we have enough money and unless that money is free. So I pray that the finances of the people of God be set free right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, I come yes, against God. the bondage of debt in the name yes. of Jesus. I come against student loan of debt right now in the name of Jesus. Credit card debt, Lord Jesus. Any Jesus. old debt that's hindering our credit scores from going where they need to be. I ask you, Lord, to just go in and begin to cancel debt right now in the name of Jesus. God, strike it off. 
record so that the FICO score will go where it needs to be and cause it to be by way of a miracle in Jesus' name. Lord, the devour for our sake. And God, the enemy has eaten up enough of our money with interest. Hallelujah. He's eaten up of our money of our money. Hallelujah. With bad debt. Hallelujah. Bad financial decision. But we ask you right now to step in and give us some God. Hallelujah. Our finances right now in the name of Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Lord, some of us have given and given and given. And you yes. said that the liberal soul would be made fat. God, and I'm praying right now that you would begin to fatten us right now in the name of Jesus. In the name Do it, of Jesus. Lord, Lord yes. for your people. Hallelujah. God, your word said that peace would be in our walls and prosperity in our palaces. You said that money answers all things. God, and we need the money to be released into our possession right now name of Jesus. Do it for us, God. Do it for us now. And God, I speak to your word. I speak your word to your word. And I command that your word would begin to go forth out yes. of the mouth of two or three witnesses. Cause your word to go forth right now. Hallelujah. Do it right now, God. Your word that breaks chains. Do it right now. Your word that heals relationships. Right your word that brings your people together. Do it right now in the name of Jesus. God, every city that has a curse over it right now. God, break the curse in the name of Jesus. I pray against the spirit of murder right now. Oh, God, uh, jam up the gun. Uh, grab the hand that yes, wants to uh, In the name of Jesus, uh, I come against the spirit of murder uh, right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, and I speak life into every city. Uh, I speak life into families. Uh, oh, God, there's a mother that wants to have a child. Uh, I pray that you open up her womb right now uh, in the name of Jesus uh, and give her the child that she desires uh, right now God uh, oh God I pray against the spirit of addiction uh, Addictions uh, that need to be broken off of us. Uh, and I pray against them right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, drug addictions, uh, food addictions. Uh, oh, God, every kind of addiction. Uh, God, some of us that are addicted to attention. Uh, God, whatever it is, uh, I pray against it right now in Jesus' name. Uh, oh, God, and I pray for the praiser. Uh, God, that their mouth would open up right now uh, pray in the temple uh, pray for the worshiper right now uh, that they will lay down on their face uh, and call out your name uh, in the name of Jesus uh, let the anointing uh, be on the word bearer uh, in the name of Jesus uh, Lord so that when they bring your word uh, hearts will be convicted uh, and souls will be saved in the name of Jesus uh, God I pray for the prayer warrior uh, God yes, that God. For you uh, and travails in prayer. Uh, God be in to hear our prayers. Uh, God, be to our prayers. Uh, some of us have been praying for a long time uh, and we need an answer right now uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, God, we need our children to be saved. Uh, we need our nieces and nephews. Uh, our brothers and our sisters, uh, our aunts and uncles, uh, our cousins, Lord Jesus, uh, begin to save families uh, and save them down through the generations uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I rebuke every generational curse. Uh, I rebuke upon every family uh, right now in the in name the of Jesus. Whatever it is, I pray that it be broken uh, by the blood of the Lamb. Uh, yes. the blood 
over the doorposts. Uh, protect every household uh, right now in Jesus' name. Uh, and Lord, I pray for our country. Uh, God, for our leaders. Uh, cause them to make the right decisions uh, so that we can move forward. Uh, and not move backward. Uh, I pray for the White House. Uh, get, for get our shut up. Uh, and everyone that answers to them. Uh, help them to make the right decisions uh, for yeah. our country. Uh, I pray for our economy. Uh, oh God, uh, bring down the prices. Hallelujah. Uh, God, some prices have gotten so high uh, that people can't fill up their reprint. Refrigerators. Uh, but I pray right now, God, uh, that you would get in the economy uh, and stir it up in the name of Jesus. Uh, I rebuke the spirit of welfare uh, right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, I rebuke the need for food stamps uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and I pray that your people uh, would be gainfully employed. Uh, and God, as you bless them with the good jobs, uh, God, make them givers. Uh, show them how to bring their tithes into the storehouse uh, so that the house of the Lord will be blessed. Uh, oh, God, we decree yes. and uh, that the people of Lord will be set free. Uh, we decree and declare uh, that the people of the Lord will be blessed. Uh, there'll be no more shortages. Uh, there'll be no more setbacks. Uh, there'll be no more stumbling blocks for your people. Uh, we are being healed. Uh, we are being delivered uh, and we are being set free uh, and our voice is being heard uh, because we're crying loud. Uh, and we're sparing now. Our voices are yeah, being yeah, love us. like a trumpet in Zion in the name of Jesus. Do oh, it right yes. now. Do it for the people. Do it right now, Lord. Do it for your church. Do it right now, Lord. Do it for your country. Do it right now, God. I pray against double-mindedness. Yes, yes, yes. The ability to make a decision. I pray against the stagnant spirit. I pray against weaknesses uh, right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, you told us to be strong in you uh, and in the power of your might. Uh, now we call on divine strength. Uh, God add to our life, uh, add to our life, uh, add to our life. Uh, and God. So, so careful Lord uh, to give your name the praise. Uh, the glory and the honor shall be thine. And we're going to bless you with everything that we are. Lord, I thank you for Lady Denise. We thank you for Pastor Timberlake. God, for everybody that's on the line, we thank you for them right now. You know what they have need of. You know what they desire. And I pray you would work on their behalf. Do it for them right now. In the name of Jesus, we love you because you're good. Uh, you're holy and you're righteous. Uh, in the name of Jesus, we say thank you. Thank and we you. Give the praise in Jesus' name. Uh, bless God. Uh, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Ooh, thank you, Lord, for answering oh, prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank Jesus. Lord, for answering prayer. Thank you for answering our prayer. Tiffany, you want to pray? Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, This is the day that you made, and we'll rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Humble, Jesus. thankful, glad that you're our master, savior, our ruler and our king. And who is man that you're mindful of us, that you created us a little lower than Elohim. Yes, and so Lord, we just trust you right now. We call you our father who art in heaven. We ask you right now, Father God, that coming together, come here, Lord. You said wherever two or three are gathered in your name, agreeing is touching anything, there you would be in the midst. I thank you for the women of God, Father God, that have gone before me, Lord, that have completely, totally set the atmosphere for your presence. 
I thank you, Father God, that you're moving supernaturally through us, God. And I praise you right now. I pray, Father God, that you would continue to forgive us of our sins, sins of omission, commission, anybody that we may have offended, God, the things that we didn't get quite right before you, Lord. And then, God, I just thank you, Father, that you would continue to use us to be willing vessels, Lord, that we would be a vessel full of honor, God, that we, that we would continue to walk right up, upright before you, that we would walk worthy in the vocation in which you have called us, Lord. And so, God, I just pray, Father God, right now, that you would just seal this prayer, Father God, seal it with your anointing and your power and your authority, seal it with your goodness and your kindness and, and, and your will, Father God. And Lord, help us to always want what you desire for our life, God, as we pray for the nations, as we pray for pastors and leaders and teachers and deacons and elders, the body of Christ, those that are sick and afflicted, those that are shuddy and those that are homeless, those, Father God, that are standing in need of prayer, those that want to be filled with your precious Holy Spirit, those that desire to know you in a real way, God. I just ask you right now that you would continue to let these prayers, Father God, go throughout the land, God. Let them go throughout the, the land all over the world. Let anybody that hears these pray prayers, Lord, let them be filled, Father God. Let them be touched. Let them be healed. Let them be delivered. And God, I just come into agreement right now with the blood of Jesus Christ, what he did on the cross and what these women have, women of God, Father God, have spoken in the spirit. God, I thank you that you said whatever we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And so God, I thank you that they've loosed peace. They've loosed joy. They've, they've loosed deliverance into the atmosphere. They've loosed your freshness, your newness. They've loosed the Holy Spirit. And I thank you, Father God, that you would bind every diabolical scheme of the enemy, sorcery, witchcraft, demons, devils, and every nature and kind, that you would bind anything that would thwart their prayers, anything that would block what you're trying to do, anything, Father God, that would come against with the knowledge of Christ, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and what he did on the cross. And we just thank you for this day, God, and we bless you and we glorify you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ that guarantees us an answer. We say thank God. Amen and amen. Amen. I have somebody that's trying to join us from, uh, I'm going to try to get them in here. Hold on just a minute. They uh, they requested. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Lord, you, Jesus. I'm going to bring them in. Thank you, Jesus. Give them time to get in there. I'm so thankful for the Ekebo Shandarabasai. For the prayer, oh Lord, I didn't join the game on him. For the prayer that is gone for. Let me see. Okay. I don't know how I got that like that, but anyway. Um, I'm just so thankful. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh God, I praise you, Lord. I praise your name. And Lord, I thank you. I want to pray for these women that have come and prayed today. Wait, let me see if we got somebody. Let me let me pull her in and see what. Yes, ma'am. Praise Lord. Can you hear me? Hello, madam. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. How are you, sir? I'm fine, fine, madam. How are you? We are wonderful. Yes, ma'am. My name is Pastor Timothy from India. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Where are you from, madam? Huh? Where are you from, madam? We're from the U.S. Oh, nice to meet you, madam. <laughs> We're praying. We've been we've been praying and doing this uh, second watch of the prayer watch, and so that's what we're doing. Do you need prayer for anything? Thank you. Um, watch. Yeah. Can you see me? We can see you. Okay. Uh, just. Uh, Please pray for the India, uh, the ministry <coughs> was doing in India, and Ugaru uh, Matra Dekari says, and so many members was not uh, have uh, the real God. They are not praising the Jesus Christ in India. So many members was 
sacrificing to another gods. <clears throat> so please pray for that <clears throat> peoples to accept Christ and to uh, live in Christ. And uh, please pray for COVID-19 in India. It's very horrible. Every day, uh, the cases, the Omicron is very, very dangerous in India. Please pray for about it. And we are doing the ministry in India among the tribal peoples, you know, uh, the poor peoples, the villages. Uh, please pray for those villages here in India. Uh, we are doing among the widows, orphan children, <coughs> and the congregation. So we have the two branches. Please pray for the two branches in India. The Lord will be, uh, uh, the Lord will be do miracles and uh, the good things, possible things, and uh, the Lord will give the authority, and the Lord will give um, uh, the help for us. Okay. And, and how do you pronounce your name, sir? Timothy? Yes, yes, madam. Okay. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask you, Lord Jesus, you have heard the request of Pastor Timothy. And Lord, we're asking you, Lord Jesus, to meet every prayer request, Father. Lord, you said, let our make our request known unto thee, O God. So he has made his request known. We ask you to bless India. We ask you, Lord Jesus, to go in, Lord, and touch the situation with the COVID-19 variant. Oh, God. Send forth your healing, oh, God. Send forth your salvation, Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, that they will not serve other gods, but they will serve the true and living God. Oh, God, we ask you, Lord, to meet every need, oh, God. Everything the ministry is trying to do, God in the name of Jesus. Lord, we yeah. ask you, Lord Jesus, to send forth the help they need, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your Holy Spirit lead and guide them. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we glorify and we magnify your name. You know yeah. what this family and this ministry needs, oh God. So, Lord, yeah. we thank you for the manifestation of your promises in this country. Oh, in yeah. their country, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank yeah. you, Lord, that as they stand on the wall and, and plead the blood of Jesus, and as they preach the yeah. gospel, Lord, that many will come and be saved, set yeah. free, and delivered, God. They yeah. will know you, Lord. Yes. And another day will not follow in the name of Jesus. In the oh name God, of Jesus. we thank and we praise your holy name, God. Lord, I glorify and I magnify your name. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, yeah. Yes, God, yes, God, yes. yes. Lord, meet every need, Father. I strengthen the them, Lord, as the in language. ministry, strengthen his leader, God. Strengthen yeah. him and show him divinely <laughs> what he must do, Father. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, we believe it's all done. Hallelujah. Yes, to move mightily in their home today. In the name of Jesus. Ah, yeah. Yes, God. Yes. Let your friends, let your presence be felt. Yes. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we glorify you. And we magnify your name, Lord. Your Thank word, you, Jesus. Lord, yes. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for this prayer tonight, Father. And Lord, I ask you, Lord Jesus, to bless each and every one of these women of God and Pastor Timothy, Lord, and his family. Lord, they came on this prayer line tonight and those that will watch it, those that will view it now, that are looking now and will even look later. God, we ask you, Lord Jesus, let the anointing of the power of the Holy Spirit re just, just wreak havoc in the places, Lord, that it will bring people closer to thee, oh God. And Lord, it will draw them closer to thee, oh God. And Lord, we ask you to bless them and cover them with your blood, Father. Lord, I thank you, hallelujah, that your blood is covering each and every one of these 
precious gifts right now in the name of Jesus. Every need that they have personally before you, God, will be met. Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that your word will not return unto them void. You have seen their labor of love, oh God. You have not forgotten about them. Oh Lord, but they're season is changed. Lord, yeah. they are moving in their life, oh God. Yeah. They are moving in the favor of God, in the anointing of God. Hallelujah. And the, this is their reaping season, God. Hallelujah. You are enlarging their territory, Father, in the name of God. Lord, we thank you for miracles coming from the north, south, east, and west. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, you're the miracle worker. You're the promise keeper, oh God. You are light in the darkness, Father. We thank you right now. So I plead the blood. There will be no backlash and no retaliation in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we'll see blessings upon blessings upon blessings, God. Oh, thank you. Thank you for their faithfulness, God. Thank you for their sacrifice, God. Thank you, Lord. He can both shanda their willingness, God. Oh, Kalalaba Shandala, you said you would not forget our labor of love. But Lord, blessing you will bless us. And Lord, if anybody try to curse us, you'll curse them, Father. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for the Lord. Oh, Kalalaba Shandake, the Basai. Hallelujah. Magnify your name, Jesus. Oh, Kalalaba Sai. Oh, God, I thank you. Hallelujah. Shanda. Lord, you know I love to uh, plead, plead this over the lives of your people. But your word declares, and I'm declaring it for everyone that is on this live. It says, whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, we will say of the Lord, he is our refuge and he is our fortress. Our God in whom we trust, surely he will save us from the fire of snare. And from the deadly pestilence, he will cover us with his feathers. And under his wings, we will find refuge. His faithfulness will be our shield and rampart. We will not fear the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. Lord, a thousand may fall at our side and 10,000 at our right hand, but it will not come near us. We will only observe with our eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If I say the Lord, we, if we say the Lord is our refuge, then we say the Lord is our refuge. And we make the most high our dwelling place. No harm will overtake us. No disaster will come near our tent. For he will command his angels concerning us to guard us in all our ways. They will lift us up in their hands that we will not strike our foot against the stone. We will tread on the lion and the cobra. We will yeah. trample the great lion and the serpent. Because yeah. we love him, says the Lord, he will Hallelujah. rescue us. Hallelujah, because we acknowledge his name, Jesus. Hey, glory to God. He, we will call on him, and he, and he we, will, we will call on him, and he will answer us, oh God. Hallelujah, we will, he will be with us in trouble. He will deliver us and honor us with long life. He will Man. satisfy Man. us and show us his salvation in the name of Jesus. Now, if there is anyone on this line, hallelujah, that does not know the Lord in the parting of their sin. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. The Bible gives us this clear direction. In 1 John, hallelujah, in the eighth, first John, the first chapter and the eighth verse. And it says, if we say that we have no, no, it's, no, that's not my scripture. If we confess, it's the ninth verse. And this is a promise to us. It says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us, uh, okay. to give us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And then Romans 10 mm -hmm. in the ninth verse says, hallelujah, hallelujah. It okay. says, thou, if thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. But with yeah. the heart, man yes. believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. So, Lord, we thank you for that. And then I also wanted to read this scripture as well. And this is for the children and the children's children, for all of those parents that have raised their children in the Lord. This is your promise, because this is yeah. a promise. And it says that if you train them, this is a command. So you train them up a child in the way that they should go. And when he is old, 
he will not depart from it. So Lord, we thank you today. If there's anybody under the sound of my voice that needs to give your life to the Lord today, if you repeat this prayer with me, Father, forgive me for yes. I am, for, forgive me of my sins. Yes, Lord. I invite Jesus Christ into my heart as Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that God has raised him from the dead. And because of this confession, I am saved. I believe if you said that, if you prayed that prayer with me, you are saved. And, and welcome to the family. Welcome to the family that loves you. God loves you. Find you a good Bible-believing teaching church and begin to attend. You can look at, there's so many churches, of course, I go to the Potter's House of Dallas. You can join that church online. We have a pastor, Rebecca Allen, Meriwether on the line, who is the pastor of Cathedral of Praise in Indianapolis, Indiana. You can go and join that, her church with, and, and come in being a willing worker, ready to help and serve. We thank God for each and every one of you that are listening, those that will listen later. We're so thankful for all of you. We thank you for these prayer warriors being on the line. We thank you for Pastor Timothy joining us all the way from India. We thank God for them, and we thank God for all the things that they're about to do in, in their family's life and in that ministry. We're so thankful, and we glorify you. We magnify you, Lord. We praise you, and we give your name the glory. For you are amazing, God. You are amazing. And does anybody else have anything they want to say? Ladies, do you have anything you want to say before we get, begin to close this meeting? I just want to say thank you to everyone um, for your prayers and for your diligence. And just for the fact that your heart is committed to seeing people being blessed and changed and transformed. I just want to say thank you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Anybody else? Well, if not, we're going to we get ready to move on out the room. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you all for helping me. These are my kingdom sisters. These are my sisters that I'm so thankful for. <laughs> I really am. I love each and every one of them. I'll be calling and running my mouth and they listen to all the craziness that I'll be saying and I thank God for them. And I thank God because they secret keepers. They not telling nothing you say or nothing do. And I pray that I'm that for them. And, but I'm so thankful for them and I'm so thankful for them. Just, uh, you know, partnering with me in this. They all have their own individual ministries that they do. These are awesome women of God. They are living life. They are living what they what they preach and teach about. So we're so thankful for them. Please just continue to pray for us as we, as we continue to do. And join us in prayer sometime. We want you to come in. You can inbox me for the link and I'll send it to you just like I sent it to Pastor Timothy a while ago. So anyway, we're on here. So thank you so much for joining us. We ask you that we pray that each and every one of you will be blessed. We thank you for those that will give their life to the Lord, that, that have already given their life to the Lord. I might give their life to the Lord uh, later when they hear this broadcast. God bless you. Welcome to the family. And, and you can inbox us and, and let us know if you gave your life to the Lord. And so just hit me up on Messenger or, you know, like that. And so we'll there or you can email me at Denise Bryson Ministries, uh, Denise Bryson Ministries, all one at gmail.com. So anyway, and then and if you want to be a participant uh, at, at one of the churches, like you want to just let us know and I'll get that information to Pastor Becky if you're in the Indianapolis area or you online. You we, hey, we, 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 we virtual, so we can do something virtual. You can be a member virtual. You don't have to be there. So, but anyway, we just so thankful for that. God bless each and every one of you is my prayer. And we'll see you back here next week on the Night Watch. <laughs> God bless you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, Pastor Timothy. He's still, on, he's still on there. God bless you, Pastor Timothy. Good night, Pastor Timothy. Good night. Good Elder night. Timberlake, good night. Pastor Meriwether. Good night, good night, Tiffany. Elder Bryson. <laughs> good night, Elder <laughs> <Good night, Elder laughs> Tiffany. God bless y'all. Everybody, Elder Timberlake and Pastor Becky, good, good night. night. I love y'all. Love, love y'all. <laughs>
Thank you for your prayers. Good night. Good night. Good night, y'all. Thank you, Lord.